Hello everyone, welcome back. I know you have been waiting. When is the next uh, lesson? Today we want to look at construction, we want to begin looking at construction of quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon or figure. So among the quadrilateral we are going to construct, we are going to look at squares, which we are starting with. The, the, then we shall look at rectangles, you know quadrilaterals. We shall look at parallelograms, we shall look at rhombuses, we shall look at trapezoids and kites. But for today, let us remind ourselves on how to construct a square. How do we construct a square of given sides? Construct a square, for example. Construct a square. Square name is A B C D of size five centimeters. Square of size five centimeters pixel. Uh, remember the properties of a square. All sides are equal. From P one up, we learn that. All sides of the square equal. Okay? So, in this, one is going to ask again do we still make a summary? Yes. Let you a simple summary. Just to ensure that you have understood. Let you a simple summary. In the summary, what do you have put there? By the way, the summary does not earn any marks. Um, the summary does not earn you marks, but it helps you to get all the marks. That's the beauty of it. It will make you understand the question. Now, if we know that a square has all sides equal, then we are going to say, okay, what are we constructing? The square. So that you do not do another figure. This Simple symbol here shows my square. And what is the square name? A, B, C, D. If the name is not given, if they are not given, it is okay if you are constructing square. Then I will have what about length A, B? Is it given? Yes. Five centimeters. Because they have said of size is five centimeters. What about B, C? It's also 5 centimeters. What about CB? It's also 5 centimeters. What about BA? It's also 5 centimeters. They are the only one who offers that this girl, this boy, is very intelligent. That summer is done. Now we come to your sketch. A sketch, when you're making your sketch, try to be realistic. Let it look like a square. Don't make uh, something like a rectangle and call it a square. Let it look like a square. A square has the right angles, yeah? Those are the properties we get. A square has all sides equal. Now, since we have put them here, we can now name these points A, B, C, and D. And each side is 5 centimeters. 5 centimeters. And that is our beautiful sketch. Someone is asking, I have had somebody asking, 
But what about if I don't put 5, 5, 5, 5, and I just put these marks, the dashes, will I be right? Yes. But when you put those dashes, at least you have to use 5 centimeters or one of the circles. Okay? 5 centimeters or one of the circles. So, the squares, the scale of the square is done. Now, how are we going to go about the construction? The baseline in a square and a rectangle. Let me bring the rectangle. In a square and a rectangle, when the examiner is setting the question, they are trying to find out can you, do you know that a square has angles of 90 degrees? At the, vert the vertices and the rectangle, that's what they want to construct. That is the examiner's vision. That's why it's not indicated here that the angle at this point is this. They know that you know that in a square at the, vert at the vertices you have angles of 90 degrees. So um, we start, draw our starting line. Mark our point today, our starting point. We marked that. That is very good. It got marked. Someone is saying it's marked. Then it measure five centimeters because each side is five centimeters. Measure five centimeters. This is 5 centimeters. Mine is not 5 centimeters. I told you I'm double to make sure that you can see what I'm constructing. So, that other point is point uh, B according to our sketch. Is point B. Write the 5 centimeters there. Don't wait. Don't wait. When you wait, you forget. What next? Center your compass here and construct an angle of 90 degrees because that is what we have. So at A, we construct the angle of 90 degrees, and at B, we also construct the angle of 90 degrees. That's why we started by learning how to construct angles. Of 90 degrees, that point. That is 90 degrees. Go ahead. 90 degrees at this point. We are almost there. Almost there. We have something like this size. Now, remember which size is five centimeters. So go back to the ruler. Go back to the ruler and measure five centimeters. I will use this distance. This is the same. This is five centimeters. Then you center your compass at that at point A and draw an arc. Where that arc cuts the line, say yes, is point D. Is point D, and it is five centimeters from point A. Then also center the compass at B with the same radius of five centimeters. Draw another arc there. Where that arc cuts that line is point C. So we have the four points 
the only task that we are left to me is to join. Are you ready to join? Good. Join carefully. I told you to preach. It's a preach. Not with your friends. Preach and make a hole there. So that when you are growing that line, you feel the pencil entering in that hole that you preach. You feel it entering the hole. Ah. So, this is 90 degrees. That is also 90 degrees. Don't forget that that is 5 centimeters. And that is 5 centimeters. We have constructed a square. What, we, what, what must we know about a square? One, the line that we, the line is going to join from B to D, that line is called a diagonal. So an examiner may ask you to measure the diagonals. They ask us to measure the diagonals simply, go to the dividers, and take the measurement. And then you go to the ruler and measure. They may ask you to draw the, the, those diagonals and make them meet. When you join them, when you join this diagonal and that diagonal, the journey angle that will be formed there. Okay? That angle that is formed when the diagonal of a square are drawn, that angle that is formed there is the right angle. And the diagonal of a square, another thing that you must know, the diagonal of a square are equal. The diagonal of a square are Equal. So that is one of the collaterals that you must know as calculus. I know we learned this in P4, but we also have to say something in P7. So now we have so far done one. So we have learned how to construct one collateral, and that is square. Next time we meet, we shall look at a rectangle. And I know by the time we come back to school, we shall have constructed all those polygons. Thank you very much for being very patient and for being nice to